Do you tend to use stamping more or patterned paper more with creating backgrounds for your scrapbooks, your card making, your junk journals, your paper crafts? This video is going to be a fun way, a relaxing way to do some stamping and create your own patterned paper. Little different than I've shown you before, new twist, and I was inspired by Artful, Artful Stamping. And her name is Ruth, and I'll put the link to her uh, YouTube channel below. Okay, so welcome, welcome, come on in. I am Dawn, creator of Dee Dee Creates Crafts, and this is the channel for simple cards that are duplicatable for helpful hints and for fun projects you will feel successful making from day one. If this is your kind of channel, go ahead and subscribe now while it's fresh on your mind. So, are you ready to create some crafts? I'm gonna turn you down and let's get started. All right, let's make sure we got you all. Oh up and even Steven there so you can see everything. Your step one is to choose three to five colors of ink and one to two stamp sets and then grab a piece of cardstock, thinner cardstock. I'm going to use the eight and a half by 11. You can use 12 by 12 or you could do a small one like the uh, you know size of a greeting card. I like to start with this size because then when I cut it in fourths it's almost like a surprise what kind of design you're gonna get. For my stamp set, I've chosen Dahlia Days because of all the flowers and the little branches. This is still available to you through June from the mini catalog. It's on page, I think, 34. I had it marked earlier. There we go on the page 34 and has a gorgeous die set including this beautiful lacy piece um, die cut. So Dahlia Days, still available to you. And I tell you which stamp set I use, one because it's one of my favorites, but two, because it's a favorite, I want to share it with you in case you want it too. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and if you wanna help support my channel, simply order your favorite products when you see them on any of my videos. And I'll put the link below. Step two, I want you to start with your largest stamp, and we're gonna stamp clusters and groups of three by stamping off. So I'm gonna start with this particular flower. Let me move this up a little, and I'm gonna start like here. There's the second one, and here's the third one. So see how I've created three colors from one stamp set just by stamping off, and that's the term of it. This is your first generation, this is your second generation, this is your third generation, meaning you have stamped three times but only inked your pad up one time. Now my next flowers, I've got this pretty purple color, and I'm gonna try not to get the shadow effect that I got before. There, I had to stamp off a little. Remind me to be very careful and go straight down and not to rock my, rock the night away. There's two, and here will be three. All right, so let's come in with our yellows. One, two, three. All right, so you're starting to see a little pattern, so let's go on and let's create some more with our pink. I'm gonna come back here and let me do a little bit, let me see, make sure you can see that, a little bit off the page for my first generation. Let me do off again for my second, and then on again for my third. Then let's do our purples. Purples, I'm not loving in the third generation. I may not do that again. I do like first and second. I think I'll only do that with my yellows and my purples. I'm not loving them in the third generation where I'm going nuts with the pink flower. Now, I do tend to, we could go in a straight line and make a cross. We can go and make an X. We can do corner to corner. The main thing is just to have a grouping for yourself that when you cut it, you're gonna love it. Come back with some purple. And purple. <gasps> My stars. Do I dare? Didn't work. Let me see if I can add a little more ink. I'm a little nervous. A little bit worked. Oh my stars, look. 
It didn't work on that one either. I'm trying so hard not to create a, oh golly, what would we call it? You guys know what exactly what it is. It's kind of a little shadow effect that the side of the stamp can do. And uh, it's just not my personal favorite. I don't love it. All right, let's come in with some green and I'm gonna see if we need any more clusters. This is the lighter green, and I had a darker green. Here it is it. I used it to open my video, didn't I? All right, this one. Oh, this is pretty. All right, so this. That makes a lovely, lovely, lovely third generation stamp off. So I'm just gonna twist around. And keep at, oh, look at that. I forgot the yellow on that one. I'll have to go back. All right, I did three. Let me add the yellow so I don't throw myself off. <laughs> oh my goodness, huh? All right, this is relaxing, don't you think? It's kind of like coloring. Um, while you're watching TV. All right, let's do this, dude. Did I do three? I should have done four. So I did this, 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 let me do this one. Da -da -da. All right, so let me come in this way, and this way. Let's go this way. Okay. I just flipped my host code upside down, you guys. When ordering, I think today is the last day to order in April and use the host code and get tons of free stuff from me, so I'll put that in the description section as well. Now I shared with you, we did, step three was to choose a second stamp and a new color. Step four was to choose a third stamp and a third color. And now step five, we're just gonna continue with our stamping and with a new color. And right now I'm on to my greens. All right, that one I made a little shadow, so I'm gonna have to be careful. Make sure, see if I can wipe that off and be more careful. I have a little scrap paper to the side here that I'm enjoying using. All right, I did better with that one, you guys. All right, so let me do a little more. Oh, I think I just dipped my fingers in it. Good grief, Charlie Brown. Still, I'm, I'm still happy. I haven't done any, uh, let's do this way, any crazy shadows yet. All right, it's so cute, don't you think? So now I've got a th third branch. I'm gonna use the same color. I think that's Granny Apple Green, but I'll share all my colors um, down the road. Let's see how I do here. Oh, I think I'll come up the side here. Oh, this is a sweet one. That's a very sweet one. I'm wondering, let me go this way. Ugh, I made a shadow. Those shadows are my pet peeves, you guys. I just don't love them. Okay, let me try, try again. I just dip my finger in the ink. One, two, three. Good grief, Charlie Brownie. All right, get some of that off the top, get it off my thumb, what have you. Now, let's see, so I've got one, two. Did I do it on, I'm missing them here, okay. This one, for some reason, and it's me, it's me, not you, I'm uh, finding that that one, the third generation, it's just kind of a little wonky. All right, I think to hide this, oh, let me go this way. Is that that? No, I see it. All right, let me come in this way. All 
I do want to just fill in some space, you know? Do you have to do that? No, only if you want to. For some reason, I don't love a lot of white space. So I do, for my personal self, try to stamp it all in or hide it with some pretty patterned cardstock. But, oh, I did like these too. Let me add a couple of these. These little flower looking guys. I'm like, boy, are they cute, stinking cute. I don't know if I'll do a three. What else could we come back with? Let's do a little bit more purple. I think I'll do a stamp off and try some purple with some second generation stamping. Which gives us that second color because we are, oh, curses. I make myself mad when I do that. I'm gonna to try to hide it, however, however. I wonder if I could hide it. Let me see if I could do a first generation. That's pretty good, the first generation flower helped. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. All right, do we need any pink or more yellow? I'm kinda of liking my pink, so let's get us, although, let me try a second generation pink, just in the middle. That's pretty. All right, I think I'm gonna add a few more. See anywhere else we want one? See, I have issues when I rush, you know? I know you guys don't do that. All right, I'm happy. Let me add a little more yellow, and I think we will be ready to... Oh, the yellow's such a happy color. It's just the dearest. And it's... Um, it, you, can you see there's three? There's three on one. I'm like, oh! Precious. You know what would make this amazing is um, some butterflies. Wouldn't that be the prettiest thing? I've got a butterfly die on, no, yeah, die cut for um, Quiet Meadows stamp set, stamp set, die set. So I think what would be pretty with this card and all these flowers is to um, die cut a butterfly and then um let me look let me look uh, y'all if i don't quit making those shadows i'm gonna go cray cray all right is it too much white or are we finished do you like it have you seen this done before maybe you follow or watch ruth's channel her videos are long, but they're so relaxing, I can't stand it. They're, I thoroughly enjoy watching her, so I want you to see what you think. Where I'm going a little fast, however, um, that's how I do. See what you think. All right, are there any shadows I need to hide? I'm seeing one, right, uh, yeah. I'm gonna do right here. See, it hid pretty good. Sometimes I can hide the shadows in, um, oh, there's my, with another stamp. Now let me show you what I'm doing with my stamps. This is a chamois and it stays wet and boy, oh boy, does that clean your stamps amazing. So 
I can just turn them upside down on the water. All it is is it has some water on it. And then I can clean them as soon as we stop stamping together. But in the meantime, I wanted to show that to you. It's convenient because, and affordable, I don't have to get the baby wipes. Really with the baby wipes, it's not the formula, it's not the soap, it's the, um, it's the water. Oh, I got that upside down, okay. The reason I'm closing these up, one, so I don't get ink on my hands. Always check your hands for ink when you've done some pretty stamping because I want you to, look at it not on the paper. Pretty, pretty, pretty. I wanna do a little cutting so you can then see how lovely, lovely it comes out. I don't wanna be obsessed with my host code. I'm tickled with the way this came out. This one is another card I made the same way. I, uh, this was the hand pin petals. This will be in the new catalog. It's coming out May 3rd, and the mini catalog is good through the month of June. So the, these stamps you can still order. All right, so if we do five and a half, usually I put a layer of uh, five and a quarter, a solid color. So I'm going to cut this at five and then turn it and do three and three quarters because I do tend to use a base and a layer and a base and a layer. So that will be one for one card. And let me turn this around. Do I want it this way? I'm looking to see which way I cut it. All right, so five. Turn it this way. Okay, Don Davis. I'm getting silly. Yeah, I'm gonna do it this way. Oh my goodness, don't you guys do what I do. I should have just chopped it. This you could save or throw away, but if you've watched my scrap paper videos, especially the first one, you'll know it's just too much fun, too much fun to, um, all right, so one, two, five, right? To save scraps, especially like this, to, again, make your own print paper, but you're doing it with your scraps. I'm hoping this is gonna be a technique you'll try, and I'm hoping you'll enjoy it. So now, these are our little card layers for cards. So you saw me stamp it, you saw me cut it, and I will make some cards off camera to share with you, and I'll put the well, I, yeah, I'll put the measurements for the three layers in it for you, and I'll share some links. There's a community section, so once I finish my cards, I will take a picture of them, and I will put them in that community section. Also check monthly for my community section, because tomorrow I'll put a picture in there of my June card class, and you can have access to that as well. So, I've just started, I'm turning you up, don't get dizzy on me. So we can say goodbye. I'm gonna pull all my pieces up. What? I'm pretty happy with these, you guys. And Ruth takes her time, and she's just an artist. So I'm gonna give you her link so you can check it out. This is my um, condensed, fast version, but I'm very tickled with it. I'm not looking at you because I'm looking at my pretty cards. But anyway, come back and craft with me soon. Go ahead and go boop and hit the like button if you learned something new or had a good time. And just remember, subscribe, like, make a project, and put your project on social media with the hashtag uh, Dee Dee Creates Crafts. And I hope you'll come back and craft with me real soon. Bye now.